Hi, I'm Jeff MacArthur, and for this Hot Stuff product review, I'm going to be reviewing the Drobo Data Robot. This is one of the most impressive pieces of machinery I've actually gotten to review on this show. It's a very sophisticated, yet tremendously easy to use, data storage solution. What the Drobo is, is essentially a bay for four, up to four different hard drives. It can fit hard drives from any hard drive maker, any size, the thin ones, the thick ones, they all slide in and out. And you can in fact pop them in and out as it's going. But what the Drobo is doing with these drives is as long as there's two or more drives, the Drobo will always maintain an extra copy, a backup copy essentially of all your data. So if one drive fails in the Drobo, you're not gonna lose any data. The initial setup for Drobo is also very easy. So there's basically three steps. Your first step, insert your drives into your Drobo. Three and a half inch SATA drives, any data on the drives will be erased and you need to start with at least two. Second step, connect your USB and connect your power. Third step, initialize it. And initializing is very simple. There's a tool that comes with Drobo to do this on PCs, but for either PCs or Macs, you can use their disk utilities to initialize it as well. And after that happens, you've got a fully functional Drobo. So very, very simple setup. Now, when I first heard of Drobo, and they were calling it a data robot, I thought, mm, that may be overstating things a bit. But upon delving deeper into this little machine, it really does do a lot of functions that you would attribute to a robot, and that's making our life a ton easier. So unlike RAID solutions or other redundant storage arrays, the Drobo manages every aspect of the data storage basically on its own with very little intervention from the user. So you mount it through a USB cable and it shows as one large drive on your computer. So the fact that there's four drives or three drives or however many drives internally in the Drobo won't really matter from the user interface aspect. You'll just see that one mounted drive, you drag and drop onto it, and as soon as that data gets in here, the Drobo handles the rest. It makes sure that your data is backed up somewhere on another drive, but unlike a, drive, a RAID array, it doesn't have to copy over empty data. It's very smart about what it's doing. So you get a solution that requires minimal intervention from the user, but will always keep a copy of any data you put on it safely backed up. So the Drobo has, as I said, four different drive arrays. You can pop these things in and out just as you're using it. So if you see here, out pops an array. The Drobo's being used right now. The green lights turn to green and orange, and what it is doing now is shuffling the data around so that it will have an extra copy somewhere on one of these other drives. When it does this, that will return to green and all is well. But just removing this drive, or if this drive failed, or any single drive has any problem with it, your data is still safely backed up. I'm just gonna slide that right back in there and put the faceplate back on. You can see down here, these blue lights indicate how much storage is on the Drobo. So we have probably about eight tenths of our storage is already taken up. But again, I can use the Drobo all through this process. Just the fact that those are flashing will not matter in terms of me putting data on or off the drive. So the Drobo is retailing for $4.99 and I just don't think there's any better solution out there for the huge number of people who have data that desperately needs to back up, be backed up, but who may not have the time to back it up. I know for me, it's a great solution. So check it out at drobo.com.